One thing that really helps to improve data viz is to use consistent fonts. Here are a couple ways that you can easily do this within ggplot. All right, to show you how to do this, I'm gonna load the tidyverse and Palmer penguins. I'm gonna then create a data frame called penguins bill length by island. You can see I've got the various islands and then the mean bill length of the penguins that live on that island. The data doesn't really matter, but I'm gonna use that data now to make a plot. And you can see there's our plot. It's kind of ugly, that's okay. That doesn't really matter for what we're doing. Now what I'm gonna do though, is let's say I wanna use my custom font, which is IBM Plex Mono. I could do that within theme minimal and you can see I'm doing that on line 30. So now when I run this, you can see I've changed my axis titles and axis text. What I haven't changed though is the numbers above the bars. If I wanna change that text that's above the bars, which is set with geom text, I need to set the family. So you can see on line 42 where I do that, and now you can see that it's using IBM Plex Mono. Now, I could do this, but every time I make a plot, if I'm working in a document, I'd have to add family within geom text, and I'd have to set theme minimal base family equals IBM Plex Mono. One way we can get around this is by using the theme set function. So within theme set from ggplot, we tell it what's the theme that we want to set for all of our plots. So I'm saying theme set, theme minimal, base family equals IBM Plex Mono. So now watch what happens if I run this code to make this plot and note that I don't have any theme attached to it. You can see that it creates it with that theme. Because I use theme set, every single plot that I make will have that but you can see that it hasn't actually changed that text above our bars. That text has gone back to the default font. If we wanna change that font without having to set the family within geom text every single time, we can use update geom defaults. You specify the geom, which I'm doing on line 59, and then you specify the aesthetic properties. So I'm saying AES family equals IBM Plex Mono. So now if I run this again, and again, I'm not putting the family within geom text. I don't have any theme, but watch what happens when I run it. It's using that consistent theme throughout. So these two functions, theme set and update geom defaults are great helpers when you wanna set consistent fonts throughout all of your plots. That's it for today. Hope you learned something useful. If you wanna get tips like this in your email, sign up at rfortherestofus.com newsletter.